Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. In the last video, we saw how can we display these labels and adjust, adjust them to suit our cross-section view. Okay, and now in this video, since we have now displayed uh, elevation and offset at the code break grid breakpoints at the this code locations, okay, code sets. Now we need the slope so here you see the road has cross slope okay and uh, this depends upon your assembly okay so later we will see how we can customize our assembly as well and sub assemblies too but uh, right now in this video we will see how we can display the slopes and customize it okay so let's go ahead and select the levels any you know anywhere in the levels and then there is option the contextual option to edit level group okay so click on it there we want to display the pers uh, percentage slope okay so there, there can be a lot of things that you can display but for right now we want to display percentage grades at these segments okay so we'll go to the segment okay we can even display grade in grade out this is another one you can explore yourself i will show you how to display percentage grade for these segments okay so once you select the segments you will have two options the standard and percentage we go for the percentage grade right now and you say add and add and you just apply okay so you will see something like this okay so this is looks very dirty and it's it's not visible so we have to customize it the first thing we're gonna do is to decrease the text size okay so click on this icon here next to the percentage growth style and then from this style we create our own style okay so say drop down click on the drop down and say create you know copy uh, copy current selection okay copy and we create a name we'll say tutorial we'll say what percentage just the say percent tutorial per okay that will be fine i will say this percentage okay percentage level or no need okay just keep it like that okay now we'll go to the layout and we have only one component here we don't have other component you can add a component if you want okay you can create a line or even the arrow doing that that's uh, when you display it, it's already there when you display grid but in this case it's not there okay no problem so we go to the text height and uh, what was this height if you remember i think maybe it was 0.35 that we set okay so say okay okay and this way okay but uh, it's uh, the kind of the, it's visible and here you have a lot of them but uh, we will we will see how we can fix that later but you see the text size is uh, way above the level where we want it the sections so the segments okay so we just again go and edit this time we edit this because we have already set our so, okay it's editing okay yeah just to confirm so now uh we go down and you have the offset here 0.75 so it's taking too much of offset i will put it as 0.2 let's see what happens and also next to it it will have a gap uh, as in this one okay as the as the level and offset when we display there was a gap so we'll say no gap okay so maybe zero or at least okay as you like let's say okay okay and say apply okay now it's beautifully displayed but uh, uh if we zoom a little bit say okay and I zoom a little bit here it's a cluttery okay it's a mess and you see it's a uh, properly displayed you have 0.25 percent grade here this and two percent grade on each side you know the cross slope is two percent for the road so good and this is a standard curve so mostly we even don't need uh, grid but we can so let's see how we can fix it just to learn 
so just select it select now you can select any of these either level offset elevation level or uh, or or the percentage grade level so the same options you will have a level so once you select this and we'll have edit level group option okay and then we go to the percentage edit and then edit and uh, what we can do is we can even rotate it you know we, if we rotate it it will take less space and maybe that will fix our problem let's see what it does will it so say rotate to 90 degree okay you see the levels are also rotated by default so okay and say apply okay that does not fix our problem okay so we we need now now you, you see earlier we set uh an offset uh from 0.75 to point two, i guess okay now we need to change that maybe then they will fix it let's see click and the offset is 0 0.0 maybe we get 0.5 let's see will it work okay we need more so maybe even 0.75 is not enough so let's change it and make it uh, one okay let's see what happens okay this looks good but still you have a clutter here so similar to these displaying we have a weeding option and it's set to zero right now okay so we're gonna set it to maybe say let's say that width maybe 0.1 okay we say 0.1 and say apply okay say okay so this fix this this fix it okay but uh, what you're gonna notice here is you see the point is here the anchor point is here but these are a bit off it's, it's not at the center you know i want this at the center display at center of it so how are we gonna do it just select it and then go to the context contextual option here edit level group click on it and then again edit and edit edit pick level style and then 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 we can see anchor point okay anchor point right now is anchor tangent middle okay so what we're gonna say is this is the middle already okay uh so attachment is at bottom center so we're gonna say middle center okay this is at the bottom center so we're gonna say middle center this will work probably okay so, okay okay and okay yes now let's verify it okay you see it's now well aligned rightly aligned so this is how this works you can do more customizations you know but uh, for this tutorial i will keep it like this for now there are a lot of customization that you can perform on it but i see it's fine even you can weed this out we don't need it these are standard curves and uh, you know we can get us increase but let's let's keep it for the right now now uh now we can save this style as a band set style like we did for these band sets okay so this as a level style okay and then we will apply to all of these okay so just click here uh select one of the levels and edit level group and now you will have at the bottom here bottom of the pop out you have same level set option so we'll say same level set option and we'll name it as tutorial tutorial level set okay okay yeah level level set okay tutorial level set and say okay uh these two and say okay okay and okay now now what we will do is we're gonna select any any just select any or maybe let, let me show you i will select just this this style and now as we did for the bands we will view say view group property okay and then here section view will be opened by default you go to the sections and for this tutorial corridor we want the surface this surface 
you want the level set to be displayed okay so you just click on edit okay and there are no level set and here we have tutorial level set that we define so select it and say okay and say apply and all of on all of the cross sections these levels will be displayed okay so you see now just wait a minute it's processing it's working out it's creating level on each of the cross sections and you have the level sets all set in all of the cross sections okay so that's it for this video guys so in the next video tutorial we will learn how to customize these okay the assemblies okay because once we have set up the style any any changes we make to the assembly and and uh, regenerate it it will be reflected on the cross sections and we have all these styles already so there will be no issues okay so we have to do it and how we will do it we will understand about the targets target surfaces and other things in the next video so thanks guys thanks for watching like share and subscribe to our channel that's all for this video signing off have a great time.